lovely people welcome back to this channel if today is the first time you chanced on this video my name is Nana Chinukwakudia and here at the study abroad channel what we do is that we help you for you to um, navigate your way through your study abroad journey so whether yours is a bachelor's studies whether you, you intend to apply for a master's studies or a phd we are here to give you the necessary information we are going to tell you which schools are providing 100 percent scholarships which schools are waiving the IELTS, the GRE, or even which schools that you can apply without application fee. If that's the kind of content that you are interested in, please, please smash the subscribe button and become part of the family. You can also share to your friends who would also share to their friends. Thank you very much. So today we are going to talk about Clemson University and we are going to check what, what are the requirements what are the things you need to take into consideration when applying to this school? Clemson University is in the state of South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. I have my family there, my big brother and the family is there. So I'm quite familiar with this school as well. So South Carolina has a lot of good things for us today and we are going to check it out. First, let's look at the uh, some of the programs that are available so that um, I try to do this kind of thing so that you know you already know from the beginning that okay if the scholarships if the other things you are waiving are relevant to you because if you cannot have a course that you can apply to the school then what is the sense in listening uh, to the scholarship and the other uh, good things that they have for us that's why I usually want us to go through uh, their degree program so first we look at the um, uh ug the undergraduate courses and see what we have there so usual usually it's they it's already arranged in alphabetical order so we can see that there's accounting agribusiness agricultural education agricultural mechanization and business agriculture animal blah 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 applied computing um, applied economics Applied Psychology, Athletic Leadership, Biochemistry, Biological Sciences, Business Administration, Computer Engineering, Computer Science, Counselor Education, Criminal Justice, Criminal um, Curriculum and Instructions, as well as Data Science and Analytics, mm -hmm. Early Childhood Education, Educational Leadership, Electrical engineering, elementary education, financial management, food, nutrition, and culinary services, forest resources, graphic communications, horticulture, hydrogeology, international family and community studies, landscape architecture, language and international business, mid middle level education, nursing, it's here, very popular. Photonic science and technology is also here. So just go through the, the, the website clemson.edu. It's Clemson University. So C L E M S O N dot edu. And you will find these courses there for um, undergraduate studies. For postgraduate, let's see what they have here also for us. For postgraduate, they have agricultural education um agriculture forestry and life sciences anima so nd denotes non-degree uh, uh, course animal and veterinary science applied economics and entomology plant and environmental sciences architecture city and regional planning english integrated project delivery planning design and built environment visual arts writing rhetoric and media and when we come to the College of Behavioral, Social and Health Sciences, they also have emergency management, homeland defense and security. And remember, some of the courses are PhD as well. So you can see that healthcare genetics, it's a PhD program. Um, business administration as well as PhD as well as MBA. At the College of Education, we have um counselor education educational science and master of science master of education english for speakers of other languages literacy coach certificate literacy language and culture phd 
science, technology, STEAM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics and online secondary education, and applied computing. So these are some of the schools that we can find at Clemson University. Now, having looked at some of the courses, let's let's check the application fee. So it's already written here that for international students like me and my 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 subscribers and my viewers, um, you are required to pay a $90 non-refundable application fee. So this is what has been written. But there's a cave out there, and that's exactly why this video is important that you have to stay tuned. All right. Now, for people who will start their application from summer 2023, there is no need for you to pay the application fee. But what it means is that if you intend to apply to the school starting from June 2023 upwards, then you are exempted from paying the application fee. So just take up opportunity, take advantage of that and save your 90 bucks. It's a lot of money that you can save. Save your 90 bucks. Um, now let's also look at um, some of the application documents, some of the things we need in order to successfully apply to this university. Clemson University at the state of South Carolina. First, you need your personal statement. And it's already stated here that um, unless your program specifies otherwise, the personal statement should follow certain guidelines. And it has already been stated here that inform them of your career goals, your motivation for, uh, for pursuing a graduate study. You've already done a video on uh, how to write the SOP, the motivational letter on the statement, personal statement. So if you haven't watched it, check on check it up on this channel. It's it's already there. It will give you a summary on how to effectively write an appealing SOP. The next thing that you need is the, your resume or your CV. So you need to provide a digital file of your CV to the application board for them to read and check it out together with other documents and they can um, grant you the admission. So um, the next thing here is the letters of recommendation. So for the letters of recommendations, you need uh, two or three people, depends on your institution. So please check out from the specific course that you want to do. Check it out from their website, whether they need true recommenders or they need three recommenders. And what that you're going to do is to provide the names and the email addresses of these recommenders. And that email will be sent to the recommenders who will intend fill the form on your behalf that's very super simple and transcript and credentials for other sources so this school is telling us that you don't have to you don't necessarily have to bring your official transcript in order to have for you to have the admission decision but you can just give them your own official um, transcript for them to make a decision so a copy of your own of your transcript from each instance you've attended should be attached to and submitted with the, with the online application for admission. So just attach those copies and then they will make admission decision. And if you are lucky that you uh, official transcripts are only required, official transcripts are only required if only you have been admitted. So once you get admission, then they ask you to bring your official transcript so just take note of it it's very super simple for you to know that you upload the pdf copies of your scanned transcript or scan certificate and then if they evaluate it and say okay you qualify for the school they give you the admission then later you can go back to your school and chase them for them to submit the transcript super easy super easy super easy um other things they are thinking about here is the the required test so over here, they have written uh, all the tests that you need, but not all of them are applicable to you. I will tell you why. Because, for example, they have written here that you need to provide uh, English proficiency. As you can see, there's TOEFL, IBT, TOEFL, blah, 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 this kind of things here written. But however, I am going to show you, this channel, we are going to show you that 
There's always a way around things. There's always a way that you can have a way to be exempted from something. And I'm going to show you now. All right. So you can see that even though they said that they require English language proficiency from most of the applicants, but some people would definitely be exempted. And one thing I one thing I love about Clemson University is that they've given certain countries that the country, any certificate, any school, any applicant coming from that country has uh, the ability to, to be exempted from writing the English proficiency. And they even went further to go to specific universities in specific schools. That is the first time I'm, I'm seeing this and I really love it already. So you can see that if you are coming from um, Samoa, if you are coming from Bahamas, Barbados, Australia, if you are coming from Canada, Bermuda, Dominica, uh, Fiji, Gibraltar, uh, Guyana, if you are coming from Jamaica, Mauritius, New Zealand, Seychelles, Singapore, Wales, USA, UK, Scotland, St. Lucia, St. Helena, South Africa, you all the applicants from these universities are automatically waived. Now, apart from these countries, there are certain universities in certain countries that uh, uh, who who's going to have their uh, English proficiency totally waived. And one of such, um, so let's go through them and see. So, for example, if 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 you're an applicant from Botswana, my people from Botswana, only if you are coming from University of Botswana, you don't have to think about English language proficiency. If you are coming from the American University in Bulgaria, you also don't have to think about Eritrea. Thank you for the guys in Eritrea who are watching and subscribing to our channel. So anybody come from University of Asmara, you also don't have to provide your English proficiency. Haramaria University, Jima University, and then Addis Ababa University are all universities in Ethiopia that have also been exempted from presenting uh, proof of their English language proficiency. The American University in Cairo, also in Egypt, and the International University and Jacobs University in Germany. So my people from Ghana, if, if you are coming from Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, KNUSD, you don't have to think about writing your or proving your English proficiency. The same way if you are coming from UCC, which is the University of Cape Coast, don't worry, my people from the University of Cape Coast, as well as the people from University of Ghana. So people from these universities in Ghana, they don't have to think about presenting a proof of their English proficiency. It's, it's the list is endless. They can go to other countries as well. Um, let me go straight to Nigeria, which has a lot of universities that that the students are, have been exempted from presenting. So if you are coming from Abia State, Abubakar, Tafawa, Balewa University, Amadou Bello University, American University of Nigeria, the Delta State University, Enugu State University of Science and Technology, the Lagos State University, Namdi Azikiwe University, Obafemi Awolowo, Awolowo University, the Ogun State University, the Ondo State, the River State, and the University of Abuja. All these um, people who are coming from these universities, they don't have to provide any proof of their English proficiency. That is awesome. That is really something I really love about this, for them to go deep into specific universities. So if you are from PNG, which is a Papua New Guinea, at the University of Papua New Guinea, University of Goroka, and the Papua New Guinea University of Technology, you don't have to also show that you can speak good English to them. From my people in Philippines, Far Eastern University, the National University, the University of Negros Occidental, the University of San Carlos, and the Xavier University, you don't have to show uh, your proof of um, English proficiency. The list go on and on and on to the University of Zimbabwe and the National University of Science and Technology in Zimbabwe as well. So these are the countries and the specific schools whose um, English proficiency have been waived. So let's take advantage of this and apply to this school. Finally, to wrap up this video, let's talk about the scholarship opportunities that this school is offering onto us. So for um, undergraduate uh, studies, there are different kinds of aid that the school is going to provide. 
for us when we apply. And one of them includes, there are several scholarships, there are several grants, and there are even some loans which are there. So when you are applying, when you are applying, you just indicate it in the form that you are interested in the scholarship and automatically you are going to be given. For postgraduate, for PJ courses, the available scholarship opportunities are usually in graduate assistantship, where you are going to have the university in, whether in teaching or in research or in whatever capacity it is that they are going to pay you. We have also have the departmental graduate assistantship and the graduate assistantship and the graduate assistances are the, the general ways that you can have funded from this university. And we are always putting it across that also email, email the people involved in, the, in your department. There are certain scholarships, there are certain assistantship that are even not on the website, they are, that are internal. But if you email the person involved, they can disclose that information for you and you can apply to it and can get it. So always, that's why you need to subscribe to this channel because we are always giving you the gist, we are always giving you what exactly you need in order for you to successfully navigate your travel abroad journey. Thank you very much for subscribing. We love you guys and the team is super happy. Anytime you watch the videos and subscribe, it inspires us a lot for us to put out a lot of videos. Thank you very much. And follow us on, on all our social media platforms at, at, uh, at the handle at steadyabroad underscore G-E-M. At steadyabroad underscore G-E-M. At Twitter, at TikTok, at Instagram, at Facebook, just follow us. And then anytime you, have, um, you see whatever is happening in the channel. Also, don't, don't forget to put on the notification channel, uh, the notification bell. Because anytime we upload a video and you have that notification uh, that bell, you are going to be notified. These days we are putting out videos every Wednesday, every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. So just put on the notification and then you'll be the first to watch and get the news first and apply first and get admission first. Until we meet again, peace out.